Hey, are you tired of not being able to change the color of your wireframe like Scott did for Five Nights at Freddy's? What if I told you that you can create a wireframe with colors like 3DS Max in Blender 2.79? Let's get started. I'll show you how to install the add-on. Go to the Preferences section, click Install from Disk, and locate the ZIP file you downloaded from Kofi. Once installed, activate the add-on, and that's it. Now you can use all the available tools. How to use it. As you can see, we have several buttons. I'll explain what each one does. Toggle wireframe. Turns the wireframe on or off. Add selected indicates which objects we want to have colored wireframes. Toggle modifiers helps the wireframe work with objects that have modifiers such as mirror, solidify, or subdivision. We also have two wireframe properties that let you adjust the line thickness and the opacity of the entire wireframe. Show in solid allows the wireframe to appear in solid mode. It should always be enabled whenever you want to use the wireframe. Generate random colors. Works every time you click it, making the entire wireframe display in different colors. Now, for the most fun part, the collections system allows you to assign color groups to multiple objects instead of assigning the same color to each object individually. At the very bottom, we have a list of the objects currently displaying the wireframe, with the option to set a custom wireframe color or disable the use of modifiers. First, let's select all the objects that will have colored wireframes and make any armatures invisible. Once that's done, click this button. Now we have a complete list of the objects. Let's enable the use of modifiers to avoid any problems with the wireframe. Activate the wireframe here and check this box to make it visible. And that's it. You can also generate random colors to change the current colors. Important warning, the wireframe is generated based on the object's current position. It's not a real-time wireframe. If you modify a mesh or move objects, you'll need to turn the wireframe off and on again. This wireframe system is heavy for Blender, so you should disable the wireframe whenever you open another Blender project or when you want to use Ctrl plus Z to prevent crashes. Let's create some color collections. To do this, expand the end panel a bit. We need to add a name and a color, and we have two ways to do that. Use the color bar to choose any color you like. In this section, you can pick one of the 60 preset colors. These correspond to the original 3DS Max palette. When you click on a color, you'll see it displayed in the color bar. Warning, once you've added a collection, you can't change its color. If you want to change it, you'll need to delete the collection and create a new one. Once a collection is created, you can select the objects you want and assign them to that collection. All the wireframes of the selected objects will automatically use the chosen color. Object List Behavior The object list works as follows. You have the object name, a checkbox to enable or disable modifier usage, a color bar to customize the wireframe color. Keep in mind that if your object is already part of a collection, the color bar won't be visible. And that's how you use the main tools of Wireframe Color Generator. Automatic functions you should know about an adaptive subdivision. If, for example, you have an object with several subdivision levels and you enable optimal display, the wireframe will automatically use only one subdivision level to mimic that feature. Show in solid. Sometimes, even if show in solid is active, your mesh might not appear. Just click the button a couple of times and the wireframe will show up again. Complex operations. The add-on doesn't support complex operations like using Ctrl plus Z and then trying to edit the wireframe again. If you plan to edit the mesh or use undo, make sure to turn off the wireframe. 
Otherwise, Blender could crash. Main Purpose of the Add-on This add-on is designed mainly for aesthetic purposes, such as screenshots. It's not recommended to keep the wireframe active during the entire modeling process, as Blender might crash unexpectedly if you forget to disable it. And that's it. I hope you enjoy the new add-on. See you in the next video.